What's going on guys? This is Andrew Chicken and welcome back to another Minecraft video and in this one I'm going to be showcasing something that looks very similar to Chicken Manor. And that's because this is Chicken Manor just rebuilt in survival for a completely different purpose than housing. This right here is the New Scotrath or uh, Nova Potentium Parliament. This is a government building filled with a bunch of fancy offices and a secret basement. <laughs> you guys know how I love my secret bases. But uh, anyways, if you guys enjoy this video, be sure to drop a like on it. Let's try to get three likes on this video. All your support is greatly appreciated. And be sure to subscribe if you're new. But uh, let's get straight on with this video. Uh, say hi to all these people. Uh, they're they're saying hi, hi 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 guys. I will I will uh, speak your voice for you. Uh, they are saying hi. But uh, right here you can see we've got basically Chicken Manor. The yard looks a little bit different. There's no fence. We've got a fountain out here pretty fancy looking stuff and then the window is an S not a C but when we come in here already you can see we've got a bunch of signs right here this right here is the official flag of the uh, uh, Empire I guess you'd call it on the server new Scotrath Parliament established July 13th 2016 Nova Potentium that means new power I'm not sure what the second part means or I'm Pentum Re I didn't put that sign there that was that was all moderators blame him <laughs> Anyways, we walk in here, someone ought to close these doors, and you can see this looks a lot better than it did in the Chicken Manor. We've got a bunch of signs labeling everything, we've, we've got a painting over here, and we've got this little overhang, we'll get to that later, it's just for decoration. But to our left, we have the library. And in here, this is a fairly basic library. I mean, we've got a bunch of bookshelves, it took me forever to get those because I, I don't have a reliable cow farm. Got some chairs all over the place, you know. Typical library stuff. Not sure why these are here, but uh, whatever. And then back here, we've got New Scotrath Laws and the Constitution, both of which are currently not present because we haven't bothered to write those yet. Bill of Rights and Government Powers and whatnot. You know, s standard important documents. So this is a fairly basic library. And it's just as tall as the uh, room was in the original uh, original building. Uh, except there's not that extra room to the side, because this was the kitchen, I believe. And then over here, we have the conference room. This is a very, very high-quality, fancy conference room. We've got not one, but two chandeliers over here. Both of them are crazy. They're sparkling and everything. Super bright. We've got the bookshelves over there, even more bookshelves. We've got all sorts of paintings over here. I'm not sure why that's right there. It's, like, way bigger than the others, but it's right there. And we've got these lovely-looking chairs. Some flower pots on the table, and there are more chairs than government officials. So, uh, yeah, a bit of a planning flaw there. Anyways, I'd, I'd sit like right here, and everybody else would sit right there. So, pretty, pretty cool stuff. And then I'm, I'm out of food, I'm so can't eat, but whatever. Up here we have the government office uh, offices. Uh, this staircase is a bit better than the one in uh, Chicken Manor. It's a bit better detailed, and we can come out here overlook anybody that's coming in. We can have like guards right here trying to shoot anybody that comes in the door that's not supposed to come, but you know, this is a public place. <laughs> and then we can come up here into where we have the three offices. Now you can recognize we've got bedroom one, bedroom two, bedroom three in the original manner, but this is quite a bit different. So here we have the people's representative's office. This is like a representative of the people, kind of like a person that would work at the House of Representatives in the United States and they customized their office quite a bit look we've got we've got a computer that's better than an Apple iMac this is the pumpkin uh, U Mac right there it's beautiful uh, hey someone joined what do you know that's good stuff they've got decapitated slime or magma cubes there they've got a slime block they've got hidden snack for later pretty cool stuff and they've got a giant woman holding a bigger pig just go with it. <laughs> uh, I lag. Okay. So then we can come into the next office. This is the judge's office. Uh, this is our current judge, Severthought46. Uh, pretty cool guy. He's got end crystal over there. He melted his lamp. The stand fell off, and then there's the shade. Papers scattered all across his desk. Very busy man. He's got lots of cases to judge. And he's got something better than the pumpkin pie computer. This is the carrot Wii Mac. Just go with it. Just, just go with it. 
And then finally, we have the president's office. Now, the vice president kind of has a desk right there, but this right here is my desk. So I actually get to sit in this chair. This is my chair. I've got a nice, neat, contemporary desk, papers all organized, lampshade not knocked over. Pretty standard desk. Got a mouse over here. Ah, I'm sitting on my mouse. Uh, yeah. Screenshot. <laughs> Might as well. I mean, I, I'm lagging. What the? Okay. <laughs> Minecraft said not responding for a second. Okay. And then over here is the vice president's desk since, well, we don't really have an office in him here for him. And so all of this you've seen is pretty basic. I mean, it's basically the uh, old manor just redecorated. But as I said earlier in the video, there is a secret basement down here. Now, I'm probably going to get kicked out of the presidential office for this because I'm not supposed to tell you how to get in there. But you kind of need a key card and there's only like three of those that exist. So good luck getting in here anyways. But, you know, you can try and fail miserably. <laughs> so uh, right here, oh crap, do I have something I need? I, I do. I need some redstone because redstone dust is great. So, library looks completely normal. But, if we put redstone right here, you can see this pushes up. No trapdoor anywhere nearby. No door appears. What happened? I don't see anything. I mean, this is clearly normal. Oh, hey. So the trapdoor opens quite far away from where the input is. So already, that's, you know, kind of secret. Put down some redstone there. Huh, what happened? I don't see anything. What? I don't notice anything. And then you pop down here, right here, and you can toggle the door. Like that. This is very similar to my missile silo, because there is a missile silo in here, but there's also some other stuff, too. And so right here, this next part is fully automated. You have to move very fast. It's a fast-paced security system. And this is also quite dark, secretive, uh, Area 51-ish looking place. Probably aliens behind this door. I don't know. So we can go ahead and put this government key card in there. This doesn't say anything in it. Not sure why. But we can put this in here. Press the button. Take it out real quick. And this closes behind you. And you stand here for the pre-entry sterilization out of healing potions, but whatever, and then it lets you go, you come into here, door shuts behind you, very fast pace, so, uh, yeah, you have to be able to run pretty fast and click a bunch of things, so, what's the, what's the password, I think it's this, and this, yeah, so it gives you a bit of a delay, so that way you can close the door behind you, I missed, I missed the lever, okay, open this door again, Click that, click that. All right, so you come through. into this room here where you've got three different choices for the hallway. Uh, don't, don't look at this. Just, this is not here, okay? <laughs> don't question my methods. Okay, so uh, this hallway right here, which leads to the new Scotrath top secret documents. This one right here, which leads to the secret tech. And this one, which is the secret headquarters slash conference room. So uh, first, let, let's just head into here since, since it's closest. We head in here into a seemingly empty, dark room. But in this room is a table and chairs and lights somewhere. Uh, so, to access these epic redstone creations, I guess you could call them epic, even though it's just lights, you put redstone right here to turn on the lights. Whoa, it's bright in here now. And then you put redstone right here, I believe. Yeah. And look, all of these chairs and tables, or single table, pops out of the ground. These are three chairs for the three most important members of government. And I was going to add a screen here, but got kind of lazy, so no super cool screen showing top secret intel. Sorry about that. <laughs> and then we can put this right down here for everything to sink into the floor. And then turn off the lights behind us, as if nothing ever happened. Because nothing did happen. You saw nothing. Shh. <laughs> And then over here, we've got the top secret documents. Now inside of here, you've got a similar deal. Go over here to turn on the lights. You've got an empty room in here again. Where are the documents? Well, they're right here, of course. And there are going to be several of these different things scattered across the room. 
several of these different centers for uh, centers for documents. And so, pop in here, this is where the original constitution would be, but we have no constitution. Uh, anarchy. Yay. Yay. <laughs> so, we can come into here, and the final room, most exciting room, contains a missile silo. I've got yet another missile silo. <laughs> I, I simply love these things. So you put redstone right here, the door opens, wow, magic. And then we can press this button to close behind us. And in here we've got a very important looking room. This actually goes over a ravine. Uh, so uh, like this would go right through the ravine and you would see the quartz. So I had to do a little bit of a camouflage, put a bunch of stone around here. Just add to uh, add more stone to the ravine. So you come into here. You've got some tables over here. You've got an eye scanner to activate your uh, computer over here. You've got a mouse. You've got some complex redstone circuits. You've got even more stuff over here. You've got this, which I I, I broke. <laughs> You've got this, which looks kind of like a dishwasher. I don't know what. This is uh, probably like some sort of crazy like 3D printer hologram type thing. It's cra crazy, insane technology in here. And then you pop down here. This is the missile silo. No unauthorized personnel beyond this point. I'm pretty sure at one point this used to say no authorized personnel way on this point because typos, they're great. So, in here we've got even more fancy looking computers. You've got another eye scanner to activate the computer and then you click things right here to uh, help set up the uh, rocket. And then you've got these two buttons right here. This is the launch button to launch whatever rocket is in that glass chamber down there. And then we can toggle the trap door to open and close it. So in here we've got level 5 security clearance. Get ready, this is insane. Whoa! This is so crazily secure, it's not even funny. It's just, wow. So we open this, pop into here, and out. We can supervise the missile construction from here, or we can go down here and actually build ourselves a missile. So we open this, get out the materials we need. We need some sticky pistons, some pistons some redstone blocks, and some slime blocks. And if we go ahead and get those into our inventory right here, we can go ahead and build a missile inside of the here. Now, originally, this was underneath a river, and this had to be sealed off, so that way water wouldn't completely flood the uh, missile silo. But as you can see, there's no more river up there. We had to uh, build around it, because for some reason, the water wasn't making it work as best it could. So instead, we built a shack up there. You can see the door right there. And you can't see through the roof, so... uh. It's pretty much the second most safe way. So, this block right here shows where we need to put this piston, which is the base. And then we can just uh, build our missile. So, this is the same missile design you guys saw in my missile silo video, which is pretty cool. If you haven't checked it out, you should watch it. And, uh, yeah, we just have to build it in survival now, which is a bit more complicated. There's no flying, so, you know, that makes it dif more difficult. But... It's still fairly easy to make. You just have to have a bunch of slime blocks. It's the real main expense here. And someone, some big slacker, left this door open. Like, what the heck? People could fly through here, like, see what's going on? Rain is falling through here right now? Well, this is just a mess. I'm going to have to fire that person or uh, terminate them. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, we can come back up here, and since the, uh, hatch is already open we don't have to like go through all that business of opening it we can just press this button right here to launch it we can kind of view us progress from here flying up and then we can go down there and watch it fly high into the sky so this will launch in t minus 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 Whoa! Launch! And you can see it flying high into the sky over there. Let's quickly go try to monitor it. Uh, go, go, go! I, I help. Okay. How's it going? And look at that. It's beautiful. It's just shooting high up into the sky gallantly and just like, it's beautiful. Look at that. So yeah, that all is done. We can go and not be a slacker and go ahead and close the hatch uh, so we don't get a terminated uh, terminated <laughs> so uh, let's come back up here I missed the ladder because I'm just great let's go back in here and we can close the hatch 
as if nothing ever happened. So now, I just have to figure out how to get out of here. There's like, there's no escape. There's, there's no escape. We can open this door. But how do we get out? There's, there's no escape. I think I'm doomed. I'm doomed to down, to sit down here, eating chicken for the rest of my life. Well, uh, that sucks. Okay, well, uh, I'd like to thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed this great looking parliament with a top secret basement underneath that I'm probably going to get fired for, but shh, don't tell anyone that I made this video. <laughs> uh, then, uh, yeah, please drop a like on this video, and uh, I'll see you guys whenever I get out of this, uh, this, this prison. I, I can't get out now, so, uh, yeah. I'll just see you guys whenever that happens.